The Italian Greyhound is a miniature dog with a big motor and personality. According to the American Kennel Club, this breed actually belongs to the toy group, but it has all the physical hallmarks of the venerable sighthound hunting group. A slender athletic body, a tucked-in abdomen, and a pointed and sleek snout. The fur is usually some combination of gray, black, or blue colors with white markings. Its appearance is well adapted for the ultimate purpose of pursuing prey at a top speed of some 25 miles per hour. The Italian Greyhound was probably bred some 2,000 years ago in the region of modern-day Greece and Turkey, which at the time were part of the Roman Empire. The dog became very popular during the Italian Renaissance among the nobility and the wealthy. Today, the dog is a popular companion and friend. You should consider buying your dog from a reputable breeder, or if you can't afford the price, an adoption agency, or a rescue center. Because of their similar appearance, the Italian Greyhound and Whippet are sometimes mistaken for each other. The main differences are the Whippet's larger size, 20 to 42 pounds, and the wider variety of colors and patterns. Both have an intelligent and playful nature that makes them suitable as lovable companions. The Italian Greyhound is a healthy breed with an average life expectancy of 13 to 15 years of age, but its body shape is a bit thin and fragile. Potential health complications include hypothyroidism, the underproduction of the thyroid hormone, resulting in lethargy and weight gain, autoimmune disorders, in which the immune system attacks the body's own cells, progressive retinal atrophy, a deterioration in retinal tissue, patellar luxation, a misalignment of bones in the leg, hip dysplasia, abnormal development of the hip joint, and leg calve Perth's disease, when the blood supply to the hip joint is interrupted, causing the gradual weakening of bones. Cancer is also a leading cause of death among this breed. A responsible breeder should screen for health problems before they emerge. An adoption agency or rescue center should also keep the well-being of the dog in mind with early health checkups. The Italian Greyhound has a very calm and easygoing personality that tends not to get riled up too often. Aside from occasional bursts of energy, including its tendency to jump on furniture, one of the breed's more appealing traits is its ability to just chill out around the home with its owner. Within some limits, it exhibits good behavior in both indoor and outdoor settings. If you enjoy the company of toy dogs but want the athleticism and diligence of hounds, then this breed may be right for you. As outgoing and affectionate as it is toward family and friends, though, this breed sometimes has a dismissive or indifferent attitude toward strangers. The Italian Greyhound is a medium maintenance breed with several particular issues you need to be aware of. Because of its house training problems, even if you train it as a puppy, it is a good idea to have an enclosed yard and a dog door just in case it needs to go out. You should also factor in the price of annual health checkups in order to catch and treat health problems as early as possible. The Italian Greyhound requires half a pound to a full pound of high-quality dog food, preferably divided into two meals per day. The amount of calories should be consistent with the dog's activity level. Age should also be a factor in the type of dog food you buy. Treats can be given intermittently for good behavior but not often enough to cause weight gain. The American Kennel Club recommends that an Italian Greyhound at the appropriate weight should have visible hip bones, but don't deprive it of food so that the ribs show through the skin. If you need extra tips about the dog's diet, then you should consult with the vet. The Italian Greyhound is a seasonal shedder, but the hair is so short that it only requires the occasional gentle brush. The nails should be trimmed slightly with a grinding tool, but because it has a hair foot, the two middle nails can be left slightly longer than the others. 
Baths should be given whenever the dog is dirty from its outdoor adventures. The biggest problem, though, is the breed's teeth. You should try to give it daily brushings and an annual dental checkup at the vet. The Italian Greyhound does perform reasonably well with obedience, sports, and agility training. But you should be aware that this dog does have a mind of its own and may not respond perfectly to every command. It also has house training problems and may go on the floor. When this occurs, you should try not to discourage it with harsh words or aggressive motions. Due to its rather sensitive nature, it responds best to reward-based training and exuberant praise. The Italian Greyhound needs around an hour of exercise or playtime every single day. This does not necessarily need to take place outside, but your dog will appreciate a good walk or run. Keep in mind that it is not a good idea to take this breed off the leash while out in the open because the instinct to chase other animals is very strong and could lead it into danger. This means the dog is definitely recommended for people with large enclosed yards. You should also keep this dog cool and hydrated in warm weather. When you're indoors, occasional toys, games, or tricks should suffice to keep this breed entertained. As long as the Italian Greyhound spends time with its owner, this breed is very adaptable and not picky about what fun it gets up to, but it is capable of tricks and feats of agility. Italian Greyhound puppies are very eager to test boundaries and explore, but due to their fragile bodies, this can be a perilous endeavor, resulting in broken bones or bruises. You should keep a close eye on this dog since it has the tendency to jump up on furniture and play around. Puppies should also receive an early health screening to check for potential problems and receive important vaccines. If you purchase the dog from a shelter or rescue group, then it should be already caught up on some health screenings. The Italian Greyhound is friendly and affectionate toward people of all ages, but because of its small size and fragility, it may not be a good idea to introduce this breed into homes with particularly young children. Keep a diligent eye on how your children interact with the dog and are prepared to intervene in case the experience goes poorly. You should also teach your children not to disturb or harass the dog when it's trying to sleep or eat. The Italian Greyhound can be an excellent way to give your children a shared sense of responsibility of caring for another living being.